What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? My fellow SaaSpreneurs, Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. We've got a pretty cool video for you today. We're going to be talking about how to close more SaaS clients in your agency. And uh, seen this uh, come up quite a bit, and I was um, hoping to just share my process with you guys, maybe simplify the, the close process a little bit. Uh, I tend to, I think we like to tend to overcomplicate things uh, sometimes, and it's a lot more simpler than, uh, than you might think. So I'm just going to share with you my process. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that my way of doing this and, and closing SaaS clients is the best way and uh, the, the, the best strategy out there. I'm just going to share with you what I'm doing, what's working for me right now. It works really well. Maybe it's something that uh, you can implement into your business, uh, help you close more clients, right? So um, I only ask as usual is you, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe, check out the links in the description. I have a, a, a free SaaS agency mini course as well. It's a five part series, you can check that out too. Dives into more detail about uh, getting started in SaaS. And uh, if you guys don't have Go High Level, please go through my affiliate link in the description. It really does help support the channel. You're awesome, let's rock and roll. I wanna break down my <clears throat> my overall process first and then I'm gonna actually take you into my, uh, my Go High Level account and show you the different things that I'm doing right now. All right, so the first thing guys, make sure you have an awesome SaaS product. You've actually put some effort into creating a really good SaaS product, preferably for a very specific industry. Uh, I, what I see sometimes is people just taking what is already in Go High Level, which is phenomenal, but then just reselling that, like reselling the chat widget and reputation management, Google My Business stuff. And you know, all that stuff is great, but a business owner can sign up to Go High Level themselves and get access to that, yes. They'll have to deal with Mailgun and Twilio and, you know, connecting domains and stuff like that. But uh, at the end of the day, most people can figure that stuff out. So you want to make sure you actually have a really good SaaS product that the industry you're going after, the people in that in that industry are actually going to get excited about it. You, you, you've got to have a product that really solves a, a specific problem or multiple, multiple problems that your clients have. So that comes down to knowing the industry that you're going after and and uh, putting things in, in place to uh, to solve those very specific problems, right? So know know your audience, know the industry, all right? Learn to speak their language, et cetera. Find out what their, their biggest problems are and then take what Go High Level gives you and create something very specific for that. Um, like uh, here's, a, here's a good way to, to test uh, if you have something uh, that is a lot different than just Go High Level. Because uh, I actually get asked this um, not too frequently, but I do have P, uh, uh, prospects that are interested in Elite Broker, which is my SaaS product, they'll ask me, hey, what's the difference between Elite Broker and Go High Level? And I straight up tell them, uh, it's built on top of Go High Level. Like if you're nervous about telling prospects that your SaaS product is built on Go High Level, it probably means it's not catered enough to that specific industry, right? It shouldn't be, your SaaS product should not be something that people can easily replicate if they were to go create their own stuff inside of Go High Level, okay? so. Just keep that in mind. At the end of the day, we want to make sure we're really helping people and we're building something awesome here. So you want to put some effort into your SaaS product. Again, I, I uh, dive into that in my uh, free SaaS agency course. So definitely check that out. Um, but that is uh, that's really, really important. You've got to get people ex actually excited uh, and, and just, you know, blow their mind with your SaaS product. Like, oh, my gosh, this is what I've been waiting for. That's what people uh, should be saying about your product. Right. So uh, step two. A uh, free lead magnet. You've got to have a free lead magnet that gets people opting into your funnel, basically leading with value. This is one of the oldest things, uh, oldest tricks in the book when it comes to marketing. And a lot of people don't use it. Uh, you know, people are so caught up about uh, getting, uh, you know, booking a free demo and, and onboarding call and, and all this stuff. Like, forget all of that uh, in the beginning, uh, it, in my opinion, anyways. Create uh, something that is going to teach your prospects something that's going to help their business while also showcasing the power of your SaaS product at the same time. For example, I have a masterclass that uh, it's a free lead generation masterclass specifically for the industry that I go after. It's got a ton of value in it. it talks about all different kinds of strategies. And what do you think I'm walking through, walking them through during the masterclass, my SaaS product. So I'm indirectly selling my SaaS product as well. Right. But um, it gets a lot more people opting into your funnel because not everybody wants to hop on a demo call or any call whatsoever. They want to they're interested, but they want to get information in their own time. They don't want to feel pressured or whatnot. Uh, and again, I'm not saying that booking just free demos and onboarding stuff and, and uh, strategy sessions. I'm not saying that stuff doesn't work. I'm just saying if you can pre sell 
your SaaS product, your sales are going to be, it's the sale is so much easier. Um, if it, they're already pre-sold, if you've already led with value, you, you've positioned yourself as the expert, they've seen what your SaaS product can do. By the time they get on the call, you should just be asking questions or, or answering questions. And I'm kind of skipping ahead here, but anyways, have some type of free lead magnet, whether it's a free guide, free masterclass, webinar training. I don't care what it is. Again, I talk about that in my free SaaS agency course. You can check that out. Got to have uh, some type of free lead magnet that gets people opting into your funnel, your long-term uh, follow-up, et cetera. All right. Then from there, we have, uh, or I have a free in-depth demo video that prospects can request. And of course, it's on the same exact page. There's a button below the masterclass that I give them uh, to get a free demo of Elite Broker. Okay. And that demo, uh, it, I'm, they're not booking a call to get a demo. This is, again, this is just how I run my agency, guys. And, uh, you know, right now, just so you know, uh, I'm, I'm at, uh, so you can see the numbers, like I'm actually doing this. Uh, I'm at, um, I think it's 65. I think these numbers are a little off. They're not updated yet, but I'm at uh, right around 65 SaaS clients uh, at the moment. So this process, uh, this process works, right? I'm not just, uh, I'm not just uh, throwing stuff around saying, hey, try this, try this. I'm actually using this stuff. So again, um, I don't do live onboarding calls or uh, uh, demo calls. I'm sorry. Um, I let my in-depth, so it's a free in-depth demo video that shows them everything that, uh, or a good chunk of what they're going to get inside of Elite Broker. Okay. And um, you can use, uh, I, I just use Loom. Uh, um, I actually created a, uh, like in the demo video, I'm going through a slideshow presentation. You don't even need to do that, guys. The reason I did it is because I have so much stuff that uh, I include in my SaaS product. Um, it's really more to help me stay on track, right? Make sure I don't miss anything. But you could realistically just share your screen, take them uh, into a test sub account or, or the sub account where you create the snapshot for your SaaS product and just take them through everything you have, all the funnels and websites, maybe uh, follow-up automations, all the uh, you know reputation management, all the different things, um, some of the really cool things that they get access to with your SaaS product. That's what you want to show them. So you don't even necessarily need a slideshow presentation. You just need to show them in depth. What are they going to get? What are the problems that are going to get solved when they sign up for your SaaS product? Okay. And that's how I do it. So uh, I lead with a free lead magnet uh, from there because that lead magnet is showcasing and, and indirectly selling my SaaS product. That leads them to request the free demo, which is the video. Now the demo really dives into the SaaS product. And of course, below that, they have an option to go uh, click the button, go to the order form, or also uh, they have an option for, uh, or I have an option for prospects to ask questions. Now uh, this can be a couple of different things. Uh, so you can do a live chat, which is what I do. You can also have an option to book a call if you want. Uh, this just depends on how you wanna run your agency. Again, I have people signing up all the time, uh, not all the time, but you know, I got 65 SaaS clients right now, it's working. And uh, I rarely get on calls about Elite Broker. Every once in a while I will, uh, when you know there's some pressing questions that maybe I, I missed in the demo or masterclass or whatever. Half the time when I get on a call about my SaaS product, they haven't watched the demo. It, they just get to my calendar somehow, which is fine. I, I don't have a problem with that, but I don't even try to sell them at that point. The first thing I ask them is, is have you watched the free demo? If not, that's where you need to go. That's going to answer all of your questions, right? Uh, but obviously with the demo, um, you know, people are going to have questions. So I have a button that goes to the order form for them to sign up, or they can click the button to do a live chat. It takes them to my chat bot. Uh, and then, you know, we can message back and forth, or if you want, go ahead and, uh, instead of a live chat, just have a button that goes to your calendar. They can book a call. At that point, uh, th this is what I was alluding to earlier. Any booked call you get at this point should simply be just to answer questions that they have after watching the free demo. They should be pretty much sold at that point. They, if they watch your free demo video and then they book a call, they're very interested. If they weren't interested, they wouldn't take the time to book a call they're probably just on the fence with a couple of questions. And if you can just answer those questions really quick, it's going to push them over. They're going to sign up, right? So this makes the sales process uh, and, and the process of closing more SaaS clients so much easier is because you they've gone through so many steps. They've seen your free, uh, they've, they've uh, consumed your free lead magnet. 
they've watched your free demo video. They can, they've seen what your SaaS product can do and what problems it can solve for them. At that point, if they're, if they got questions or whatnot, or at that point, they should either be signing up or, uh, they, they maybe have just a couple of questions that, um, that they need answered. And, and that's really it. All right. Now, um, let me, uh, let me actually take you into my go high level account and, uh, we'll walk through some of this stuff. So now, um, one thing that I, I do like to do here, and again, this just depends on how you want to run your agency. If you want to be a little bit more aggressive, uh, you can set up an automation. For example, uh, when they request your free lead magnet or free demo, you get name, email, and phone number, and you can set up an automation to check if they have, uh, if they've signed up, great, nothing happens. If they have not signed up, let's say after seven days of requesting the free demo or the free lead magnet, create a follow-up task to give them a call. Hey, you know, saw you checked out the, the free lead magnet, the free masterclass, just want to get your feedback on it. What'd you think? Saw you requested the free demo, wanted to get your feedback. What'd you think? Any questions, right? So you can be a little bit more aggressive where if people are consuming your content in these different assets, but they're not signing up, give them a call. Maybe you get an appointment setter to call those specific leads to set up an appointment with you or just close the deal, right? So we'll go into uh, my elite broker funnel here really quick. All right. You can see, I, I just got a ton of pages here and, um, you know, a lot of this is like for onboarding and stuff like that, but, um, uh, my sales page right here, this is where, uh, it's got all the information about, you know, like detailed breakdowns on what's included in my SaaS product. They can, uh, every button here on this page is to request the free demo. So right here is the free demo video. This is a, just a very basic page guys. It's got my, uh, logo, Freely broker demo, what they're going to learn. I've got the video right here, the screen share video, and I have two buttons right here. Click here to get started. Or if you have questions, um, actually, you know what? I think I, I have a couple of, a couple of things here. Oh yeah. Uh, joining the free Facebook group. I'm not going to dive into setting up a Facebook group, but you guys should absolutely have a Facebook group, uh, with, within your agency. It is a phenomenal way to generate leads and more importantly, convert more leads into prospects, book calls, et cetera. But if they scroll down just a little bit more, they're not sure they can connect with an elite broker specialist, which opens up in um, Facebook Messenger. And then I give them another option to join the Facebook group. And uh, right now, guys, I have almost 600 people inside of my elite broker Facebook group. Not all, obviously not all of them are clients, but they're all potential clients. And now when you get them in the Facebook group, you can connect with them, send them messages, uh, not to mention that when you post in your Facebook group, that shows up in uh, people's news feeds a lot more than just regular posts. So anyways, that's kind of a, uh, a side tip for you guys. Uh, let's see the, uh, the other part here though, is, uh, here's the free masterclass. So it's just an, a uh, simple opt-in page to request the free masterclass. All right. I'm telling them what they're going to learn. The button pops up. It's got, you know, it requires their name, email, and phone number, just in case I, I want to give them a call later on. Uh, like I said earlier, if they haven't signed up for whatever reason, and then, uh, I just deliver the masterclass. And then, like I mentioned, the masterclass is going to give them an option to sign up or join the Facebook group. Okay. So, so, and at that point uh, I've got their name, uh, their, their email address, their phone number. So I can do emails, phone calls, text messages, voice drops, and I can get them in a Facebook group. I mean, you got multiple channels of communication with your list at that point. It's really, really powerful. And, uh, you know, with the Facebook group, you can post more content and stuff. And it's just the, the more exposure somebody has to you, to your brand, the more likely they're going to convert at some point and the, the easier the sale is going to be because they already, they feel like they know you, they trust you. They've seen all this stuff, uh, all the value that you've provided. And, uh, it, it just makes the sale so much easier. So, um, let's see, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I'll wrap it up there. Uh, anyways, guys, um, that's my process for getting more SaaS clients. Uh, right now, it's working really well for me. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I would love to hear your feedback. Drop a comment down below. Uh, or if you have any questions, you want me to dive into something more, uh, dive into something in more detail, whatever. Uh, and also, uh, please share with me how you're closing your SaaS clients. How are you building your SaaS agency right now? I'm always open to learning new stuff. So anyways, guys, I hope that was helpful. Really appreciate the time. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, uh, join the Facebook group, all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Keep crushing it.